Hi, I'm Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I am so excited to show you my beauty room today. If you are new, this has been a journey. The room where I used to film was my daughter's old bedroom and she moved back home last year and I told her if she moved back home, I would give her her room back. So I felt a little displaced. This room was purple, like the purplest purple that ever purpled. And it just wasn't me. So I worked really hard to make this my refuge, to make it my Zen place, someplace where I was happy, um, comfortable. And I definitely did that. And it has been a few months since I finished it. I just hadn't had a chance to film and I needed to do a couple little little adjustments, little things um, to where I felt like it was finished. There are a couple things that still need done. Uh, I still need to paint the doors. So, uh, and uh, we're not going to look at the carpet. This room was a child's room for many years. The carpet is a mess. We're getting LVP throughout the house in the next year or so. So we're not, I'm not worried about the carpet. So without further ado, um, come check out my beauty room. When you first come in the room, this is what you see. I am standing by the door and that is my filming space. We're going to get a little bit more in depth with that in a minute, but right behind the door are my wigs. They're on command hooks. Those are all my wigs and hair pieces. This is just a little, like a little vision board thing that I have. This came from Amazon. Oh, by the way, anything that comes from Amazon, I will tell you that it came from Amazon and I will have a link to it in the description box below. This holds extra hair products, things I don't really use that often that are open. And then we have our hair tools. This is like irons, different sized irons, flat irons and things like that. And then we have, that is a diffuser. It's a Diva Curl diffuser. I use that sometimes, uh, but I mostly use my Black Orchid. Headbands, uh, wig caps. This is an extra sleeping bonnet. These are all extra, that's all extra makeup, like over overflow makeup. All of this is new and packaged. None of it has been opened. It's stuff that I have already have so many things open in that category that I don't need to open anything else. So it sits in there. And then down here are extra wipes, micellar water, um, cotton rounds, that kind of thing. Okay, so when we come around, these are my big box lights that I used to use in my other room. I had them right in front of my desk. I don't really use them much in here. If I feel like I need to, a little bit more light, I will turn them on. But for the most part, I don't really use them. And then over here in the corner, it's just some more like extra stuff. Like I have pins, pins and things in that one. Um, extra alcohol in there. These, I know the lighting over here is bad. These are magnetic lashes. These are my regular lashes. Um, that is just stuff that I bought this month that I need to show in my makeup rehab. And then there's my guitar back there that I cannot play. <laughs> um, and then over here is a craft cart my mom bought for me. And this is where I got these to dry my brushes. And then that is to, is also a brush dryer. Those are my project A to Z items that I'm not working on. And then in here is just like extra stuff. Like there's cards in here and like there's some wire and just different stuff like that. This here is, this is just extra makeup, like duplicates and things that I have. This is a journal that I got, um, trash bags for my trash can, that kind of thing. These are all treatments, face treatments. Moisturizers. This is a mess. This is all hair stuff. These are like minis. 
mini hair stuff. Uh, masks, hair masks, that kind of thing. But all of these are minis that I've gotten in boxes and things. And then down here are extra tools. There are sponges in here. There are extra makeup erasers, um, little poofs, that kind of thing. Up here is all lip items. I've gone through all of this stuff that was in here. These are just minis that I've gotten in boxes. We have lip scrubs and lip balms. There's like a little lip scrubber there, extra one. But I got my Laneige um, thing that I got at on Black Friday or Christmas time or whatever. These are all cleansers except for this. This is a um, hand cream. This is my Holy Grail hand cream. It's from Avon. And then just some poofs that I threw in there because they wouldn't fit in the other part. Uh, this was empty, but uh, this is where I put my cleansing balms. That's the only cleansing balm I have left. These are all masks. Um, Non-sheet masks. These are like peel-off masks or clay masks that my bestie gave me. And these are just, they're all masks. Charcoal masks, minis from boxes, that kind of thing. Except for this, uh, these are all toners. And then this is all body care. There are some hand creams in here, but mostly it's body care. Body washes, body scrubs, body lotions, that kind of thing. Okay, after we're done with that, we come around here. These are all of my shop, my stash items and project items and things like that. The things that sit up here are all like smaller palettes that would get swallowed up in my other thing. Um, but like some of them are projects, some of them are shop, my stash. Uh, this is a shop, my stash. These are all projects. This right here, if you've been with me, you've seen this, you've seen this palette. It's just one of those palettes that has the things that you might not have in a palette that you need, like transition shades or inner corner shades. My, my brow shade was right there and it is now gone. Spoiler, gone. And then this thing, this cheap thing, um, these are shop my stash and projects. These are project items. A couple different projects are in there. This is just shop my stash eyes and lips. These are all of my out the door and 24 items, except for that. That's not, I just put that in there. That actually needs to go down here, which is, these are all face items, face products. Then there's a couple project things in here. This is all for panning and things like that. There's my Betty cards. These are just little dot um, labels that I use to distinguish what is in what uh, project. And then I have empty pans. And well, this is to press my eyeshadow shades. Um, magnets, that kind of thing. These are my cotton rounds that I use at night. It's just easy to get in there. Um, I can't open this because of that bar right here, but it has a roll of lint-free paper towels that I use for panning. Those are my empties. And then of course I have cleaning wipes to wipe off my desk every day. And here is my filming space. These lights are amazing. I got them on Amazon. They clip to your desk. Love, love. So when I turn those on, those give me a little bit more light rather than have my big box lights, which I don't have room for in here. Um, I had to get very creative. And thank you, Leanna Dalton, for giving me the idea of getting things that clip to my table. She was very helpful in helping me to figure out things that I needed to get. I'm going to move this. Hi guys. This is what I use for my tabletop filming. It is amazing. I freaking love it. It used to have a light attached to it, which was really nice. It was a ring light, um, but that light didn't last very long. So if you need something like that, I would just buy this by itself. Again, it clips to my table. 
And then there is my, there is my ring light. That came from Walmart, you guys. It was like $16 from Walmart. Um, I do have one on my wish list, uh, my Amazon wish list that I'm hoping to get on Black Friday. I know it's a while away or maybe the next Amazon Prime Day or something, but it is much bigger. Um, it's the same one that Leanna has, I think. And then there's another one of those lights over here. There's my big cup. Okay, let's talk about what's on my desk. Um, this terrible mirror. I hate this mirror with every ounce of my being. Um, hi. <laughs> I hate this mirror so much. I do have a new mirror coming and hopefully it will be here soon. Hopefully. Um, it, it's amazing. And I'll talk about it more when I get it. So that's the stupid mirror. And then these are my little palettes. This is just a ceramic tile from Home Depot. They had a busted open box and I asked her if I could just buy one of these and she gave it to me for free which was really nice. And then, and I use this for my foundations and to mix, if I'm mixing two foundations together, I mix them on here. This is just a soap dish from the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Leanna and Tina H. Beautiful Journey for that idea. Um, any content creators that I mention are going to be in the description box below. Please go check them out. See if they're your jam. And if so, then uh, subscribe. Okay, so what's on my desk? Well, we have a nail trition. That is a nail strengthener, nail conditioner. This is from 4th Ray Beauty. This is, uh, I use it as an under eye balm because my under eyes are super freaking dry. This is my favorite hair oil in the whole entire world. Unfortunately, it is discontinued. And I found this. Yes, guys, my hands shake. They always shake. I found this uh, in my bathroom. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a sample of my amazing hair oil. This is a foaming hand sanitizer that I use after I use on my hands after I do my hair oil because it gets all that off. Uh, this cluttered thing in the middle, it just has some sponge tip applicators, some disposable lip gloss things, which I also use to clean up my eyebrows. This is just a spray body lotion I got from Copacetic. Just some hair clips. Lip balm. Uh, this is from Glen Avenue Soap Company, which is where my best friend works. I've talked about it before. It's local. Um, there is a very dirty sponge. It's up there because it's dirty and I don't want to use it. Um, that's my concealer sponge. And then my lighter. And that is to light my candle over here. I have my little sponge holder. I have color switches. These are just hair clips. I like this type of hair clip. Um, the, some of these are from Janet. Some of them I bought from Shein, I think. This, I'm not going to read to you. You can read it yourself, but this came from Jen Beauty and I freaking love it. It's hilarious. It holds some fancy pens and nail file that uh, needs cleaned. That is to put on my masks. I do clean it before I use it, just so you know. Pens, my highlighter. These are, that's my, that's the color of the month for my panning journal my big old cup because I'm thirsty this is my little mirror that I use for my eyeliner and things like that this came from Laura the bargain hunter not a day over fabulous and then this is my phone that I use for my spinny wheel little spinny wheel my desk came from Amazon as well uh, I do wish it were just a little larger a little longer but it's, it's really good. It's been, it's been a good desk for this. It has this little pouch on the side. I have my wipes. I do buy the Fisher Price baby wipes from the Dollar Tree. 64 of them for $1.25. And I only use them for swatches, you guys. I have extra reading glasses. Um, my panning markers, pencils. This is my label maker, which I'll show you the labels here. 
That came from Amazon. That is amazing. I love that label maker. It was super cheap. It was like 20, 20 to $25 or something like that. Another thing I love about this desk is this little hook here. And I hook my hair dryer on it. That guy back there uh, is amazing. I got it on Amazon as well. It has eight outlets and six USBs over there on the side. And I, I freaking love it. It has been amazing. So here's probably one of my favorite things that I've gotten from Amazon. It is this little cart. It is a craft cart and it houses everything that I need, everything that I need uh, for my daily whatever. When I was in my other room, I had a very long table. It was a six foot uh, table that I used for a desk and I had a big lazy Susan on it and it fit all of my little coffee mugs with my brushes. And so when I got that little desk, I, I didn't know what to do with it. So I bought this cart. I thought that that would be a good idea and it's amazing. So these are all of my brushes. These are eye brushes and I bought a couple of these from Burlington. You are powerful, beautiful, brilliant, and brave. I thought that was really nice. Um, this says Brains Beauty Boss Lady. I got this one from work. This is Fueled by Caffeine and Sarcasm. And it has the Grim Reaper drinking a cup of coffee. Hilarious. And then, of course, I have a couple of Batman ones. And over here, I have Billy Joel. I got that from Kim, from hanging out with Kim. So those are all my eye brushes, my face brushes. Those are dirty brushes over there. I'm going to get down on the floor so you can see what else uh, this holds. All right, we have, uh, this is a continuous spray water bottle. It's amazing. I use it all the time. This is all my skincare. That is my AM and PM skincare. This is what I use just about every day. Um, some of the things are like a few times a week, but mostly it's every day. Back there is my micellar water. And then there's some extra brushes back there. Just if I need a certain brush and it's dirty, um, I have like some duplicates back there. That is from Shop Miss A and it is just holds tools. Here's my pick that I use every day. And this is, these are the tweezers that I use to take out stoppers. These are my tweezers that I use for every day. And how cute. How cute is she? I need some Betty Boop ones. Scissors, spatulas, just that kind of thing. Over on the side are setting sprays and some face oils and things like that. And then on the bottom here are my hair products. These are the hair products that I use pretty much every time I do my hair. Those are just scrunchies, a wide tooth comb, um, some extra clips, that kind of thing. It's on wheels. And let me tell you what, it is really sturdy and I have not had one problem with it. And I freaking love this cart. I thought about getting another one and putting it on the other side, but I'm probably not going to do that because my other cart is on the other side. While I'm down here on the floor, I'll show you my gel. This is my hair gel. It doesn't fit in there because it's humongous. This is the Weedod Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. This is my Holy Grail gel. It's kind of pricey, so that's why I don't really buy it very often. Although I did find out that my supply house now carries it. I just can't get there before they close with my schedule. But I found this at Sam's for $30. This is like $55 or something. So super excited about that. I turned my side lights on so you could see a little better. These are behind the desk where I sit. This used to be in my other room. It was behind me um, in my background. This is a diamond painting that my daughter made for me, I think four or five years ago. And probably four years ago. And I love it. I think it's beautiful. And then this is from Just Janet. This is directly in front of me where I sit and I look at it every day and it's very special and beautiful and I love it. And then the newest addition 
Actually, that's what kind of, uh, held the filming up a little bit was I had to get this matted and framed. And this is another diamond painting that my daughter made for me for Christmas. And she's just adorable. I love it. I love it so, so much. These are my huge, humongous, give me glow Z palettes. This is what holds my ColourPop singles that I depotted from my ColourPop palettes, my 9 and 12 pans. Those are the 26 millimeter, and then these are the bigger ones. Down here, we have all of these are Z palettes that have things in them. These are all empty Z palettes because I bought some bigger ones and consolidated. So I have a ton of empty Z palettes. Those are going to be great for like BYOPs, build your own palettes. Those are sheet masks. Those are my sheet masks. And then that right there is my packaging for my ice cream palette. It won't fit on my bookcase. All the rest of this is just eyes. Those are brow products, mascaras, black liners. And then we have super shocks. Those are my labels I was talking about. We have super shocks. We have crayons and liquid shadows. And we have potted shadows. The next shelf up are, this is my, these are my quads and quints. And then the rest of these are just my smaller palettes. If you've seen my shop, my stash, you have seen um, these little bins. These are palettes that don't fit on my uh, bookcase, like regular palettes. Okay, stood up. So these are all my face palettes, uh, my larger face palettes. This is my Betty Boop Peachy Queen palette. Of, I have it on display because I don't use it because it's not great quality, but I'm not getting rid of it because she's adorbs. And then all of the rest of these are my eyeshadow palettes. They are in alphabetical order. And I got these little bookends from Amazon as well. Thought they were super cute. Okay, now we're going over here. The, these curtains came from Amazon. They are not blackout curtains. They said they are, but they're not. Uh, but they are pretty good quality, and I do like them. My little, my little ottoman came from Amazon as well. I needed something there so that Luna, when Luna visits, Luna can look out the window. Because when I redid this room, I took away the bed that was there and she would stand on the bed and look out the window and she can't do that when there's no bed there. So I had to buy the ottoman. I actually bought two of those. I bought one for my living room. There is Luna's bed where she kind of sometimes lays when I am doing, when I'm filming my videos. Okay, let's go over here. This other bookcase, which you could kind of see in my background, this top shelf are all very special things from very special people. So we'll start on the left. That Betty Boop Funko Pop came from Just Janet. That white Betty Boop Tumblr came from Tina H. Beautiful Journey. The silver tumbler, move this. The silver tumbler came from Beautifying MZ Mary. This sunflower, if you know, you know I love sunflowers. The sunflower came from Tina H as well. This is just a little tray that I had, but here's a little gnome that came from Janet. This came from Pinky Jean. She sent them out a couple of Valentine's days ago. And I had it around the neck of one of my perfumes and then the perfume was empty. So I took it off because I wanted to keep it, but she made that. So I keep that up there because that's very special. And then this perfume, but that is from my first friend mail from, um, CC from painting for goals, CC's trial size life. The teddy bear up there. If you saw it in my old videos in my other room, he was always up on my shelf. My dad loved the Cleveland Browns. When my dad passed away, my daughter bought that Build-A-Bear for me and his little voice box in his hand has my dad's voicemail. So that is very special. 
back here we have, I don't know if you can read that. It says, Hey girl, Hey, that is from Jen Beauty also, because that's how we talk to each other. We say, Hey girl, Hey, the next one down, we have some perfumes. We have, we have nail, uh, nail polish remover. These are some of my scent box perfumes. These are Gucci perfumes I got from influencer, just a candle. Here's another Betty Boop palette. Again, terrible quality, probably won't ever use it. Um, but it's adorable and I have, I can't, I can't get rid of it. There's my A that you see in the background. Oops. And then that is a picture of me and my daughter in probably 2007. We took that picture for Valentine's day for Anthony. So that is very old. 2007. My goodness. Okay. Down here we have more makeup. We have primers. We have glow primers. Foundations. Contour and concealers. Powders. Bronzers. Powder blush. Cream blush. Powder highlighter. These are the rest of my face palettes. And then we have lip products. We have lip liners, bullet lipsticks, crayon lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, <laughs> lip glosses, and those are balms and oils. Over here are nail items that, um, that pouch right there has nail files and things in it. Those are all fake nails from Timu and most of them are terrible. Down here are nail polishes, which I just decluttered a ton because they're old. This is some jewelry, uh, a lot of ear fleek that I don't like, and I'm probably going to either do a giveaway or just give it away or whatever. I don't know. And then just some odds and ends down there. That bag right there, that was an Ipsy bag. It reminds me of the movie Clueless that has nail stickers in it. And then on the bottom here, those are candles and sponge gels. Okay, so what is behind me when I film? Well, there's an end table there. It's actually a nightstand. It is really cheap, and I am working on getting something else for back there. I just put contact paper on top of it. It has purple on the top. It was in this room. It, it is what it is. I have my little tin vase of flowers that I changed with the seasons, and um, I don't know how much of this you can see in the back because my big head there is my candle. I always have a candle going. That is the coffee and whiskey from Bath and Body Works, and it is lovely. There's a little fountain that my daughter gave me. Now we have this artwork. This artwork is one of my favorite things in this room. It's very vintage, very vintage looking. And I got all of those at a thrift store for $3 each. And I had to have them. I bought everything that they had. I had to have them. They sat in a closet for five years because I didn't know what I was going to do with them. And then as soon as I knew that I was redoing this room, I knew exactly where they were going. I love them. I think they are so fantastic. My floating shelves also came from Amazon and those hold my perfumes. There are two of the Carolina Herrera Good Girl. And then the pink one there is Very Good Girl. The pink one right there. And then back there is my YSL Black Opium. And then that is my absolute favorite Dior Hypnotic Poison. It is my favorite perfume. It is a, more of a winter perfume, but it is, it is a beautiful scent. I freaking love it. It's very sexy. It's very sultry. I love it. And then there is my little bottle with my fairy lights in it. And that little sign is new and it says Framily friends who become family. And I thought that that was perfect to have behind me um, while I'm filming because I have found so much family since I started my channel. So many amazing friends who have now become family. And then lastly is my couch. This couch came from work. Um, where I work in the lobby where the offices and stuff are, they got new couches and these are perfectly good couches and they were selling them for a hundred dollars. It's an $800 couch 
and they were selling them for a hundred dollars. And I freaking love that couch. It was in my other room as well, but you couldn't see it because it was over in the corner. But yes, so I love, love my couch. It's not the most comfortable thing, but, um, I have my little blankie over here. That's just more a throw for looks and all of that, but it does get used. And then my little pillows. I got the pillow covers from Shein, I believe, like a year or two ago. They were downstairs on my couch and I moved them up here. I do want to get some other pillow covers. Um, I've seen some that have like uh, lipsticks or like high heels or something on them that are adorable. But my vision for this room was black, gray, and blue. And those are my happy colors. To me, they're very relaxing. And I... I can't tell you how much I love it. That's it, you guys. That is my room. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the little tour. It is a much smaller room than what I had before, which I didn't really ever do a, a uh, room tour, except for it was, um, it was kind of a shameful, a shameful one. I will link that up there uh, in the cards. Uh, it was good or bad, show us your filming space. And it was terrible. It was so cluttered and it just wasn't nice. And when I moved in here, I had a vision for this room and I reached exactly, exactly what I wanted for this room to be. And I am so over the moon about it. I love it. It's, it's my happy place. It's so comfortable. It's where I make my videos and which is also my happy place. Uh, YouTube is my happy place. So, um, I reached the goal that I wanted to reach. This is exactly the feeling that I wanted when I decided to redo this room. I am so overly excited about it and I hope you love it. I, I really wanted to get this out. I really wanted to show you guys where I film and, um, yeah. So let me know, let me know in the comments what you think about my filming room. And, uh, if you were here back when the walls were purple, Thank you for sticking around because it was terrible. The purple walls. I'm not purple. I'm not purple. Um, it was, it was something else. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, I really appreciate you spending a few moments of your time, uh, in my happy place. You guys, until next time, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.